What's up everybody? I'm back and as you can see from my face, I'm blinged out in green for March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. To see how I get this look, keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I promise y'all I'm going to do better with uploading videos. But subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Love you guys. Okay, so today we are starting off with these brows and so this is a St. Patty's look. I just decided to do my eyebrows in green and as you can see, I'm using my Sleek Makeup by iDivine palette and I'm just using those two colors to fill in these brows. So to fill in these brows with this green eyeshadow, I'm using um, the little eyeshadow applicator that came into came with the palette, and I find these applicators to be very useful. I know a lot of people don't like them because they're just a little spongy um, applicators, but they pick up product very well. And as you can see, these pigments in this um, eyeshadow palette are very pigmented, and this was very cheap off of Amazon. I'm gonna try to put the um, link below so if anybody wants to order it they can order it off of Amazon so to clean up my brows I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color deep and I am just going up under those brows with um, a brush that I purchased from Walmart And for a base for my eyeshadow, I'm using um, my NYX eyeshadow base and it's in the color white. I just like to use my finger to put this all over my eyelid. It's just my preference. I don't like to use a brush. Then I'm going to go in with my translucent air spun that I purchased from Walmart and just set that on my eyelid. Then I'm going to go in with my Juvia Place um, palette and I'm using two colors out of this palette for my transitional color and I'm going to cut my crease also with the color out of this palette. And since that Juvia's palette doesn't have a black, I'm going to go in with this um, cheap palette that I also purchased off Amazon for about 7 bucks, And I'm going to just use that black in the corner of my eye. And I'm going to go back in with that Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to go in just to cut my crease because I have hooded eyes and I just want this, um, these colors to show very well so I'm going to do a cut crease.
And as you can see, y'all, these colors are super pigmented. This yellow, like I didn't even spray um my little spongy sponge. I did not spray it. And that's one reason, like I said, I like to use the little sponges because these applicators pick up pigmented and pick up um, product just very well and just make the color show very, very, very pigmented. went in with a makeup wipe just to make that a lot more cleaner um some people use tape and i do it sometimes but today i just didn't i'm just going in with the small i think this is like a lip like a i'm not even sure what type of brush it is but i'm going in and i'm using that same grease just to make my um transitional color more defined for eyeliner i'm using my kat von d tattoo liner in the color trooper black and I'm just doing a wing, a little regular wing eyeliner. For primer, I'm using this little Becca primer that I got from free. I got it for free from Sephora, so I'm using that um, just to prime my face. And I'm going to go in with my ABH um, palette, and I'm going to use that orange just to color correct any dark spots that I have on my face. And I have a good bit. For foundation, I'm using Fenty Beauty and I'm in the shade 450. my highlight I'm using Maybelline instant age rewind and I have seen a lot of reviews about it and I actually like using it I'm just going in with my beauty blender y'all know I call it a booty blender I'm just going in with my booty blender and I'm just blending all over my face And y'all, I know right about now I'm looking a tad bit crazy, but I'm definitely going to fix it. Just trust the process. So I'm going in with my air spun and I'm setting all my highlighted areas. And to contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the color Espresso just to contour on my face. with that air spun and I'm just going right back up under my contour on um, my cheekbone just to make it more defined and more precise and then I'm using my ABH palette um, and I'm just using that to contour my nose
And then I'm going in with my black opal satin powder, and this is in the color deep. And I'm just using that to blend everything together on my face, um, so I don't look ashy or if I don't, I don't want to look like I'm in my casket. I just want everything to be well blended. For my highlight, I'm using this 24 karat gold by Technique, and I also ordered this off Amazon. And y'all, it is just gorgeous. Y'all, and for some lashes, I'm throwing some um, mink lashes, false mink lashes that I bought from my local beauty supply store. And I think they were like $8. They were for some lashes, but they la they lasted me a while. I've been wearing these over and over again. And um, what am I doing? I'm taking that same green and I'm just putting it up under my eyes just to make my eyes pop a lot more. And for a lippy, I'm using this lipstick that I got from Walmart for $2.50 and it's by Hard Candy. And it is in the color 1070 and it's called Jealousy. And this is the finished look, y'all.